Welcome to Omics Box, bioinformatics made easy. Hi, my name is Marta Venegas. I'm a bioinformatician at BioBAM, and today I will show you how to perform the quality assessment and comparison of the Nova Genome Assemblies using Quest. So first, why to compare the de novo assemblies? This is because the resulting assembly depends on many factors. First, the input data used. Have you used single edge reads, per ends? Have you provided additional data like mate pairs or long reads? And not only this, but the chosen algorithm to perform the assembly will have a really high impact on the results. And not only the algorithm, but the parameters used will lead to different results as well. And choosing the most suitable configuration can be tricky and it greatly depends on the dataset. There's no such a one solution fits all cases here. So comparing the assembly obtained with different configurations of input algorithm and parameters is highly recommended. And in this matter, the Quest tools comes very handy. To perform the analysis, I will be using DNA sec reads from the end to a strain of C. elegans from the National Institute of Genetics of Japan. And these reads, I will assemble them with four different configurations. Abyss, using the algorithm Abyss or Spades, and using only pair and reads or with additional made pair data. That helps during the scaffolding step. Now, in order to show how to perform the analysis and visualize the results, I will continue with Omisbox, a user-friendly platform that allows you to perform different types of bioinformatics analysis. So the first step would be to perform the de novo assemblies. So we will go to the genome analysis, DNA-seq de novo assembly, and first we can choose into different algorithms to perform the assembly. In order to continue with Abyss, we can select different type of input data here on the wizard, as well as to adjust different assembly parameters. Finally, we will select the output folders to save the results, and we will click on Run. But since it can take a few hours and we have multiple assemblies to perform, I'm going to skip this because I already run the assembly for the different configurations mentioned before. Now, in order to run Quest, we will go to Genome Analysis and Genome Assembly Quality Assessment. So we first will select the FASTA files of the assemblies here. and the reference genome in FASTA file as well. This is because Quest will compare all the assemblies with the reference genome and this will give us really nice insights about our assemblies. And in order to find a brief description of each parameter, it is possible to click on the question button here and if not, you can go to the Omisbox user manual to find a more detailed information. So again, we will click on run and the algorithm will take a few minutes to finish. So the quest execution finished and the main result is this table which contains some basic statistics about each of the four assemblies. Moreover, we can generate the summary report which contains a more detailed view with a lot of statistics regarding the all four assemblies. Moreover, is it possible to generate many different types of chart in order to assess the comparison visually? So now let's dig in a little bit more into the comparison. So the first interesting feature to assess may be the length of the resulting assembly, because we would like to the assemblies to be as long as possible. So we will go to this column and we can order the assemblies in descending order. And now we can see that the assembly obtained with the Avis algorithm and Mayper reads have produced the longest assembly, but there's not much of a difference between the rest of the assemblies. So another interesting feature would be 
to see the length of the largest contig obtained because we would like to have as more long contigs as possible. And again, the largest contig is obtained with the abyss made assembly. And now there's indeed a long difference between the rest of the assemblies. If we would like to dig in further into this comparison, we can take a look at the number of contigs that has more than 5k base, base pairs. And again, here the abyss mate algorithm is the one that contains the greatest number of long contigs. Moreover, if we take a look at the total number of contigs, we can see that with the abyss mate assembly we've obtained a fewer number of contigs, but it seems that they are longer, which is a really desirable feature. Because it indicates that the assembly is less fragmented, that is, is less composed of tiny pieces. In order to further investigate this, we can take a look at the popular N50 statistic. This statistic tells us that half of the assembly length is rich with contigs of this size of higher. So the higher the, this statistic means that the assembly is composed of longer contigs, which is desirable. And we can see here that with the abyss made assembly, we have obtained a higher N50. But the thing is that this statistic is not directly comparable between the assemblies. This is because it is calculated taking into account the assembly length. And as we've seen here, this is different between the assemblies. In order to fix this, we can take a look at the NG50 statistic, which is calculated taking into account the total genome size, which is the same between the different assemblies, which makes this statistic compar comparable between them. And again, we see that this number is higher in the abyss mate assembly. But not only we can take a look at the N NG50 statistic, but we can generate a chart for the value of NG at different percentages of the genome size to see if this value is consistently higher at different percentages of the genome. And we can indeed see that the Evis mate uh, assembly has outperformed the rest of the assemblies in terms of this uh, statistic. But in case in which this difference was not, was not as evident here. For example, if we wouldn't have the abyss mate assembly, in order to help us see which assembly has obtained higher values of NG, we can go to the summary report and take a look at the AUNG statistic, which is the area under the NG curve. So the higher the value, that would mean that in general highest numbers of NG statistic we have. And again, this is higher for the abyss mate assembly, but if you would like to see the second best one, that would be the abyss assembly. We have compared the different assemblies in terms of the length of the context. And Another really interesting thing to take a look at is how well each of the assemblies have recovered the genome. To that purpose, we can go to general charts and generate the genome fraction plot. This plot indicates the percentage of the genomic bases covered by the assembly. This is possible since QUAST aligns each of the assembly to the reference genome. Now there's not much of a difference, but if we thumb, zoom in a little bit at the top part of the chart, we can see that there's indeed a difference between the genome percentage covered by the Avis algorithm, by the Avis assemblies, and the spades assemblies. Moreover, uh, not only this is interesting, but 
we it's nice to look at the accuracy of assemblies. To that purpose, we have the misassembly charts. And we can take a look at the number of misassemblies detected on each of the assemblies. And really the misassemblies are parts of the assembly that doesn't map back to the genome correctly. Here we can see that the assembly obtained with Avis and Mate reads has the smaller number of misassemblies, which is a desirable feature. And comparing the Avis with the Avis Mate, we can see that the Mate reads have really helped in organizing all the contexts correctly. And another interesting feature to look now would be comparing the genome fraction with the number of misassemblies. Because here we've seen that the Avis assembly has covered a higher percentage of the genome com in comparison with the space assembly, but it has a higher number of misassemblies in comparison. So this is a nice example in how in why do we have to take a look at different features of the assemblies in order to finally compare them. So as final conclusions, we have assessed different aspects of the assembly qualities in terms of the length, the continuity with the NGX statistic, the completeness, the accuracy with the number of misassemblies. And by comparing all these metrics, we determined that the AVIS algorithm using additional mate per reads achieved the best results with our dataset. Now, as a further material, I would like to recommend you go into the Quest Extended blog, in which not only compare all these things, but I also compare the results achieved with AVIS, AVIS and different parameters and different types of input data. Additionally, if you would like to try it yourself, I would recommend you go to the Quest Example dataset. Thank you for watching. Learn more about Omics Box with our other videos.